Hey, what up, decisive marketers? I'm so glad to be talking about yet another WordPress plugin today. It's called Propo Voice. So I guess it's you know a mix of proposals and invoicing. So this too is very interesting because what it does it. It does like a CRM and invoicing kind of features, right? So uh, before I dive into Propo Voice, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. Here we go. So here we are in Propo Voice. Uh, I'm in the settings page right now. So I was meddling with it slightly. Uh, I actually tested this way uh, back about a month or so earlier and then uh you know they have some updates already so um, i believe there was some integrations been added so i'm going to be checking it out shortly right so we've got uh you know you can add your business information in here okay you can upload your own logo uh that will be for the invoices that goes out and then you can also white label the plugin itself right so you can change the logo um you know you can call it something else as well you don't have to call it proper voice and you can change your social media links in there as well so next is lead settings right okay so Okay, so lead settings so that you know you can set like um you know what is the lead quality. It could be very cold right now, but maybe they're getting warm or it's very hot, like they are ready to buy. They just have some questions left to ask. Okay, and then you can put in the source of the lead as well. You can add different sources in there. And then uh, of course once we dive into the lead uh some of these individual modules in there, you will be able to see uh, how it works much better. Then next will be your deal stages. So by default there are uh, one two three four five five and six kind of uh, stages right so I mean it's five stages but you know the last one has two paths it's either you close and you mean win the deal or you lose the deal right so opportunity comes in okay and then the <coughs> you know this could be like they visit your site um, you know and then contacting would be like they actually reach out to you and then they reply to you engaging and then you send over a proposal uh, and then you want the deal something like that okay so you can add your own stages of the deals as well so this will be your deal pipeline uh, pipeline and then we have your estimate and invoice right here okay so you can set the currency you can set the language um, the quantity type right so how do you want to charge it by it's called a unit or you know number of hours so you can change that okay so if you are selling physical products now because you'll be using units and then you can set tax as well uh, any fees and discounts right so you can create multiple different types of discounts as well like free shipping or whatever it is okay and then you have a uh, estimate okay so this will be your prefix and then uh reminders so uh so 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 how it works is uh i i mean i think a lot of uh, business owners would already know this but i just want to bring this up so estimate will be you know like what we call a quotation so you send it out okay and then you can remind them okay like uh you know one day before it expires or you know after it's been sent out whatever it is okay uh, and then you have your invoice right here you can set the prefix and then this is when you know you you're sending some reminders for them to pay money and then there is project right here so i believe there's some uh you know some task management kind of features in there uh which i think is new because when i tested it uh about m more than a month back um it did not have these features i believe so uh, of course you can set the uh, different stages of the projects as well then you have payments so 
you can add your bank account details you can have woocommerce uh, or you can set up paypal or stripe and i believe they will be supporting more uh, payment settings later on and then you've got your email template settings so this is you know how you set it up right here the information and then you've got invoice information there as well uh, so you can set up all these uh, emails for and then task and activity okay so this will be like the task uh, itself what's the task type what's the priority you can set that all up as well and then contact so this will be like your lead information right so there are you know their contact information and things like that so you can also set different settings so maybe they want to you know they are inactive or you block them because you don't want to deal with them anymore you, know, you can put that in as well you can also set up some tags in here okay uh, and then you have integrations right so they've got quite a few right here they have now uh you know they i believe they only had like zapier in there but now they support a lot of them um they've in forms wise uh, they've got contact form 7 wp forms ninja forms gravity forms fluent forms um my only issue is uh, it seems like um before i you know when i tested this about more than a month back uh the plugin was actually running very very quickly uh, maybe they've added a little bit more stuff so it's you know it takes a while to load so maybe about two and a half seconds or so uh, i believe that could be cut down uh possibly and then you can also set up your own smtp or via or send email via you know php okay and then you can add like google meets right uh you know so what happens is that you can have you can have a you know uh send a google meet uh invite through proper voice so that's very nice and they support right now a ton of uh, automations in there which is brilliant they've got zapier uh which was the only one that they had previously they now have pebbly slack uh make he is formerly known as Integromat. So I, you know, make uh, Alberto is in there. Uh, Integrately, Uncanny Automator, Flowmatic, and Webhook. Okay, so you know, I uh, pretty much everything is all supported uh, in there. Uh, let's see what is License Manager. Okay, so uh, okay, let me see. So this is I have a license right here. Okay. So we go we are, so what happens is that you can actually go to the front end, right? So uh then it becomes a self hosted plugin. Right, you can see that so it looks amazing. You know, I love this uh look right here. Uh because I'm on the front end this I gotta remove this right here, just give me a minute. This is under code slippers. Okay. So I was testing out the page notch, right? So we, we have that video in there. Got to remove the script right here. But I love, uh, you know, the look of it, you know, very, very nice. Okay. So over here, uh, it's the same thing, right? So we've already g gone through this part and then this is the dashboard okay and then you've got your lead in here so this is the front end dashboard which is you know uh, and then you can set this as the home page and then you know everything will be very brilliantly uh, done okay so you can add your leads in here okay so every lead you can name uh the person the organization the their email mobile you know what's their budget if you if they do give you that information the currency uh and then you know you can set the level this i believe this wasn't there originally and they can set a tag uh maybe they are into design or they are into development or marketing you can put that in 
okay so you know what kind of pro uh, products or services to promote to them right and then any description or notes to add in and you can even put in their logo or you know photo in there okay right and then you can import as well so you can upload a csv file there's a sample file right here which you can download okay you can export as well right so this next is your deal pipeline right so you can pretty much just move it you know i love the animation and everything you know they've got a very brilliant uh, ui right here please just ignore this right here i probably got to clear the site cache and then everything should be fine okay so you can move your deals along uh, you know it's very convenient and every deal that you create Okay, every deal that you create, let me just kind of refresh this, possibly to remove this video bubble right here. Okay, I think I believe it's gone right now. So, uh, so you know your contact information, you can add the deal, uh, information as well. Right. So as you add the lead, I believe they are all being added into the deal pipeline. Okay, so you can change, uh, you know, that information in there. Okay, and then you just pretty much over here. I I like the way that is being organized. Is that, um, you know, you go into the lead to edit the lead info, uh, and then they will all be added in here, and then you just kind of move them along, right? And then you can set a new deal. Uh, you know, and then of course you can rename this stages as you want. Change the colors. Uh, I think they've already chosen very nice colors in here as well. Uh, you can also view it on a list manner, list view like this, or in a Kanban board style like this. Okay. Next, you have estimate. So you can create your estimate right here, right? And then you can choose the kind of uh, template that you want, right? I think they've got very nice template. You can preview it if you want to, right? And then you just, you know, select one and just fill in the information. You can fill in the title, uh, you know, the receiver, who that is, okay? Or you can just select from here. And then you just put in the title, description, quantity, and so on, you know, terms, uh, signature, you, know, you can upload your own signature in there. Okay, so yeah, so it's got to be a image file for the uh, signature. And then you can change the style as well, you can have it in red or whatever. I think blue looks the best. Right, currency, and then you know you can you can change the currency if you want to you can change the text you can add a text view if you want to and then fees if you are adding any fees right maybe like shipping fee or whatever okay and then discount reminder that you know everything is there and then you can save and continue and then once you are ready you can also send out an invoice from here which you know it's very very similar uh, I believe once you create a estimate you can convert this into a invoice right you can just copy to invoice and then you've got clients so let's see so i guess clients are you know a different set of uh, contact group right so leads are the one that has not purchased anything from you clients are the ones that have uh, you know are working with you already and then you've got some project management features in here I believe this is new you can see that there's nothing in here so 
I can just put create a project in here. Okay, contact information. Okay, we can put in the contact here. Save. Okay, let me just kind of refresh and see what's going on right here. Oh, I guess I know what happens. Uh, why why is not appearing in the Kanban view is because I did not set the status, so I have to edit. So, for example, this one I have to edit the status, and then add a status. Okay, so like new, and then it should appear in there. Okay, so. Okay, so the project status is new, so we should see it in new right here, right? And then we can move it along. Okay. And then you can add your task and activity in here. So let's say uh, create logo. Okay. And then we have create logo in here and then you can just create the uh, multiple ones and then you can look at all your tasks and activities in here so this one is for you right so all the tasks that is for you to look at and then you can look at contacts so all your contact information is in there and you know we are done i guess right so uh what i can say about okay so of course the last part will be the, the dashboard right so you can see the number of clients you have how many leads you have how many deals you have what's the total number of invoices you have how many estimates have you sent out how many projects are you working on right and you can look at your sales funnel in here and then you can track your deals as well right so all this information where the deal source is and all that so what i can say is that i i would think that you know propo voice is so far the best looking crm tool that i've come across right um and it's you know it's it's, it's like everything that you need is in there um you know you have you have your lead you have your deal pipeline you have your estimate your invoicing uh you know your project management your integration is seems like everything is all in there you have your google meet integration you know just seems like everything is all in there and it's beautiful looking you know uh you can install it clean it up and you can sell this to your clients as a crm by itself right so i think this is amazing um and i guess that's all i have to share about propo voice right so if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about propo voice in the comments below and lastly if you know anyone who can benefit from this plugin right here be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video bye bye